Hello, my friends. Happy Tuesday. Although I feel like it's a Monday because I just finished going live in my Facebook group. Um, but you know what? Let me, let's start over. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tara Stoddard and I am an independent color street stylist. And we meet back here every Tuesday. So be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you're not in the Facebook group and you're on Facebook, um, come and join us. I will have the link in the description um, of this video. So let's get started. Um, now, St. Patrick's Day, it has, it was postponed, right? It was postponed. Um, I talked a little bit about it, I think in last week's video, possibly. I can't remember if it was that or that. I don't remember, but it has been postponed and it's going to be this Thursday. This Thursday, we're going to see five new shades for St. Patrick's Day. So as you can see here, I do have a St. Patrick's Day set from the past. This is Gaelic Greenery. Um, and I thought it would be fun to do, you know, in honor of St. Patrick's Day sets launching. Um, and I do think I'm getting the assets for that today. So like all the graphics, the pictures, and seeing what they actually are. I'm kind of really excited. Um, and I'll be posting that in my Facebook group um, today, if I get it today. Um, oh, I'm like throwing stuff everywhere, goodness. Okay, I've already prepped my nails just before I got on did a little nail file, um, clean them up a little bit. And then I also, I always apply um, this OPI natural nail strengthener just under my sets um, to give my nails a little extra uh, strength, I guess you could say. <laughs> I don't know, I, I use it all the time. Um, and I love it because my nails do break really easy. So, Okay, let's hope that these work really well. Let's hope. Um, I also have a couple of things here. I have my, um, oh gosh, I can never remember what size this is. <laughs> it's a circle hole punch. Anyway, because I think I wanna do a French tip. Um, and then I also have my shamrock punch, but I don't know if I'm gonna use this. I don't know. Um, because it is, rather large. It's going to take up my entire nail. I don't know if I'm going to use that one. We'll see. Um, and I had thought about doing another set with this one, but I think we're just going to do it alone. We're going to do it alone and we're going to do, we're going to do something. We're going to do something on my, on my ring finger anyway. Um, I really like this set because look, it does have that dark, um, you know, it's not see-through. Cause some of our glitters are rather see-through. Um, so when you put them on or if you're layering it over something, you can see another color come through. This one is definitely completely opaque. You cannot see through it. And look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I don't think I've worn this set. I'm trying to remember if I have. And I kind of looked through my, my nail sticks and I don't think think I have. I think this is the first time I ever wore it. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. St. Patrick's Day sets are my favorite. I'm really excited to see what designs they've come out with, you know, because they've heard us. They heard us say, you know, oh my gosh, those only two sets. We're only getting two for St. Patrick's Day and they look very suspiciously similar to sets we've seen in the past. So they came out with three more and I, oh my gosh, I really hope they're amazing. I have high, very, very high hopes. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see what happens. Oh my goodness. And I feel like I, I don't have the camera completely set up the way it normally is. I feel like, like the angles off or something. <laughs> something's off or maybe it's just because I was completely out of commission yesterday I don't know um I do feel like something something about this is off I don't know we'll deal with it um yesterday I had a migraine if you're in my Facebook group you might have seen my post because I normally go live on Mondays and 
I didn't yesterday because I wasn't feeling very well. Uh, because I had a migraine. <laughs> so I didn't do anything yesterday. Okay, here's what we're doing. I think for my ring finger, we're going to do a French tip, which is super easy to do if you have just a circle hole punch. And I want to say, I want to say it's a three eighth inch hole punch, paper punch, circle. I want to say, I, I'm doubting myself. I am doubting myself. I don't know if that's what it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're creating our own little French tip here. Just for, you know, we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to mix it up a little and I will probably most likely apply a liquid top coat just to just to seal the edges because I don't like feeling that bump. Like there's definitely a bump there and you can feel it. I don't like feeling that because I tend to pick at my nails if I can feel it. And I think I put that down way too far. <laughs> I put that down really far. That is a really thick French tip. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing to the other side though. We're going to do it exactly the same because my hope is that I receive the new color street. That is not good. <laughs> that is very not even at all. Okay, let's try that again. That looks better. Uh, the new nail polish remover is coming out, or it came out today, launched today. I did buy, I, I bought a bottle. Why can I not get that off? I bought a bottle and it's coming and I'm really, really hoping that it arrives before Monday because here's what I'm gonna do. So every Monday, I, like I said, I go live in my Facebook group and it's to remove the previous week's nail polish. And I, we kind of chat and we talk about, you know, anything that's coming, launching, you know. Um, so I'm going to do a little comparison. I have a bottle of Mineral Fusion here. And I know not everybody uses Mineral Fusion, but a lot of stylists, a lot of stylists use it. Um, some people cannot use Mineral Fusion for one reason or another. Um, something about the formula just like messes with their nails. Um, but I'm going to do a comparison. So one hand I'm going to remove with Mineral Fusion. The other hand I am going to remove with the Color Straight brand. And I know, friends, I know the shipping. Trust me, I have heard it all. I've heard it from my stylists on, the, on my team. I've heard it from Sideline Sisters. I have heard it from customers. The shipping, I know, I know. The shipping is $9. Yes, I know. And it makes the cut, like the total cost of the bottle so much because it's also plus tax. Um, in most areas. So, oh my gosh, I know. I know it's a lot. That's why I'm going to test it. I'm going to let you know what I think. If it's not something, you know, that I would use, it's not something that I'm going to promote. I would not promote something that I don't love. Uh, that's just the way I am. But I am going to try it. I'm going to give it a chance. And who knows? Maybe it's amazing. But I am going to give my honest comparison, honest review. So as soon as I get that, I'm going live in my Facebook group and I will talk all about it. And of course, if you're not, if you're not in my Facebook group, I will share it on here. Like I will share what my results were and let you know what I think about it. Who knows? Maybe, maybe I hate it. Maybe I love it. I don't know. We're going to see. We are going to see. All right. I think, do I want to do, yeah, we're just, we're just going to, we're just going easy today. I do love this green color. Um, one of the, one of the St. Patrick's Day sets that's coming out, it is very similar to this. I am anxious to see if the greens are any different. Um, is it a lighter green? Is it a darker green? You know, what does it look like? What does that shade look like? And you know what? I am just, I am gonna use the other side. I'll use the other side today. Why not? I hope it sticks because I did touch it all over. 
<laughs> Here we go. Okay. How was your, how has your week been? Tell me, tell me all the things. I feel like I have nothing to update you on because yesterday I just, I did absolutely nothing. Oh, we did have a fun little Galentine get together in my Facebook group on Saturday. That was really fun. So if you were there, if you attended and participated, thank you so much. You all make my job so fun. So, so fun. Okay, should I, should I do my thumbs as a French tip too? Yeah, I think, you know what, let's do it. We're gonna do that just because why not? Let me take this off. I should just pull this all the way off because I don't need it. I don't know why I have it on there. I could probably very easily just take it off. Okay, we want it straight. For those of you who have followed my videos for quite some time, do you remember how like <laughs> I would get so, so like, Oh, what's the word? I can't think of the word about my position. I'd be like, oh my gosh, I can't place it. I cannot place it. And I didn't even really notice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, you're kidding me. Of course, because I'm talking about it. I was going to say I had no problems, no issues. Oh my gosh. And now I'm ruining, I'm ruining it. I'm ruining my nail. Oh, Okay, we're going to buff it out a little because I totally just, <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> Are you serious? And now I ruined the side. Hang on. Let me clean that up. Okay, let's, let's try that again because I completely ruined that one. Completely ruined it. And you know why? It's because I thought to myself, <laughs> I was like, self. You are doing amazing. You have come so far since your first <laughs> videos. <laughs> you have come so far in your placement. You Look at you. You just threw it right on there. Now I'm going to have to cover it up. Gosh. Okay. Let's just, we're just doing it. Okay. <laughs> but I used to really, right? I used to really overthink the placement. And... <sighs> I was going to say, look how, look how well I did on these ones. Like I didn't even think about it. And then I started thinking about it <laughs> and then I messed it up because of course, because of course I messed it up Ugh, because I start thinking about it. If I don't think about it, I'm good. My gosh, my gosh. I know I'm such a mess. I can't help it. I can't help it. Oh man, this is like, why is this sticking so incredibly well? This is a little ridiculous. And I chipped my nail so it's all, it's like a funky, funky angle on this thumbnail. Because I broke my nail in a weird spot. And so it's like a, it's very, very, anyway. Anyway, and we're going to have to do it with, why is that nail, oh. I'm just a mess. I'm just a mess. Now I have to use this really big nail and it's going to hang over the side because this one is too big for my thumbnail. Woo! All right. Let's get it on and try it. I feel like I put it down way too low and I still have all that excess that I need to get rid of. But I'll do that after. All right. Here we go. Just gonna, oh, that's too far too. I just have really, it's just a really thick, really thick look. Oh my goodness. Hey, so who, tell me in the comments, and I know that I have, I have so like a big uh, wide range of ages who follow me here on YouTube. And I'm curious, were you one of the ones who loved the Super Bowl, if you watched it, the Super Bowl halftime show, did you love it or was it not for you? Because for me, that was totally my generation. Like that is what was, you know, that was the music that came out when I was around 18. Um, 
well, some of them, they did sing California Love, which I think came out when I was 12. <laughs> um, but the majority of it, or several of the songs came out the year I graduated high school. And, uh, you know, I can remember listening to a lot of the songs, um, cruising down the road with friends. It just brought back so many memories. I was like, I should be with my friend Teresa right now. We should be listening to this. Um, or my friend Cynthia, like driving in her car. <laughs> I loved it. And you know what? A lot of the commercials I noticed were totally geared towards my generation too. Like very nostalgic type commercials going on during the Super Bowl. I didn't even watch the game because I don't have a team anymore. We used to watch for the Chargers because, you know, we were in San Diego and the Chargers left us and we've kind of been um, teamless ever since. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you thought. Let me know what you thought. Um, and keep it, keep it civil in the comments. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. Um, even if it differs. All right, here is the finished look. The finished look. Let's do a little, we gotta do a little. Here we go. A little nail fee, a little nail fee look. Um, tell me what you think. I feel like these are way too thick, <laughs> but I like that it gives, you know, a different look. And I gotta clean up some of these, some of these edges a little bit more, but I am loving it. I'm loving the color. And I can't wait to see what we're getting for, for some more St. Patrick's Day. I'm really excited. Um, man, I'm all ready for St. Patrick's Day now. I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, I'm really hoping for some really good rainbow, rainbow sets. Please give me all the rainbows. I love rainbows. All right, friends, that is all I have for you this week. Um... I will talk to you. I will talk to you next week. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Fabulous rest of your week. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.